Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios. I am your stock mentor, Brian Johnson. Flat day today. Take where we started the day. Take where we ended the day. We really didn't go anywhere. Nothing really to move the markets. Had a few things come out, but I, there wasn't anything that was gonna that was gonna change the market's mind to stay flat today. We basically fought with a couple of support and resistance areas pretty much the entire day. Um, no real direction here yet. We are pulling back. But at this point, that's all it is. It is still just a pullback in the bigger scheme. Look at the Dow here on a 60 minute. You can see we did break that blue line. Okay, It's very common now, once the blue line has been broken, to come back up and retest it. However, the bulls have really been struggling up here at the support resistance areas. Notice this 10, 300 level said we broke that uh, one of the more major levels here that we broke and it is proving itself to be very strong now resistance on the way back up however it's being buoyed by this 200 period moving average on the 60 minute so stuck in a range right here waiting for something to happen uh, up or down now with the 200 being down towards 10 to 47 I've moved my target down for the short side I'm just gonna say down below 10 200 let it get back below 10 200. Uh, we do have the 10 247, and 10 200 is still lower support here. So below 10 200, if you're looking to intraday trade this thing, and you can see we did stick below the 200 day for uh, for two days now. Yesterday we got the close below it. Today we got the close below uh, below it. There was an attempt to make it back up, and here we go again, folks. Look, pow, hit, resist, come back up hit resist next day break through it support support come up next moving averages hit resist back down break below it hold hold so it's uh same song different verse let's just keep this in mind overall we're nowhere for what the middle of may end of may we're just dancing sideways here uh, you just take this may 24th and go sideways from there and we're only up about 100 points <laughs> since May 24th. So for you longer term traders that like to just buy and hold uh, based off of the indices, you're just, you're not making any money. You're, you're not losing any money, but you're certainly not making any money. There have been opportunities to day trade, but you know, there's just, there's nothing going on here. We're basically flat across the board, waiting for the next major move. Uh, now, because we're below the 200, I still uh, got to give my bias to the 200-day moving average. This is still the area for the bulls to get back up and over. We had this beautiful run to the upside. Now, are we getting a pullback to hold the 20, only to see it run back up again for one of those ABC-type corrections? Maybe this turns into a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for you Elliott Wave people. Maybe this is the top of a move, and now we're heading down. I mean, there are a million different scenarios you can play out if you're an Elliottitian. What you want to be doing now at this point is stop counting the waves, start going back to your technical analysis. We are waiting for major breaks of these areas down here. Let the 20 get broken, let the 200 get broken before you look for your next trade in the markets. I think we break this and start heading back down, we could retest this blue line if not lower. So keep that in mind pushing forward. NASDAQ on a 60 minute held its nice level right down here. This one was now down about the 1875-ish level, but you can see the big line I've had drawn in here. Holding nicely today, had dips below it, back to retest the 200, same song, different verse, different indice, they're all doing about the same thing. Now trapped in between the 50 and the 20 up above it and the 200 down below it. So waiting for breaks up above 1900 or below about the 1850-ish mark for your trades in the NASDAQ from a daily standpoint. Had the big move up, gap up, run down, coming back today instead of testing the 200, which some of the indices are below at whatever. The NASDAQ being as strong, and typically and usually so, being the stronger of them all, hanging out above the 20-day moving average and holding nicely to that today. So here we are, trapped below the 50 and the 20. I'm really just waiting for the more major breaks. Um, I have been short the market. I got in at 11.15 and then again at 11.30 to the short side. So I will be watching to see what kind of direction we break uh, and then make a decision on whether or not to stay in my positions or not. I was going to stay in them for the long haul. 
Uh, we'll see what happens over the next few days. <laughs> that will uh, that will obviously influence my bias going forward. So waiting waiting for these breaks down here. Keep it in mind. You know, shorting the Nasdaq sometimes, yes, can work out very well for you. Such a such a speculative thing to do. Uh, I would much rather be shorting the the, the S and P or the Dow before I'd short the Nasdaq. I like to go long the Nasdaq. So, looking for breaks back up and over this 50-day. That's your entry. That's where I think the bulls can run with it. From a weekly standpoint, it's only uh, Wednesday now, but keep in mind that we are putting in a dark cloud cover type of a candle pattern for you, for those of you that like that. Still, it's, it's a weekly candle. We got a couple days left. Not gonna, not gonna dode on that one. <clears throat> SPX on a 60-minute, breaking its blue line, falling down, finding itself below the 200, which it fought with all day long. Okay. This was your overhead resistance. 1100 is another very strong area of overhead resistance. So what held it up? Why didn't it drop? Why didn't it just completely fall apart? It has to do with this little thing called the 20-day moving average. That was the support to the downside. So you've got the 200 above you on the 60 and the 20-day below you on the daily. Obviously waiting for breaks one way or the other with each one of those. Could be ca Got to be cautious here. This could just be a bull pullback at this point. This could also be the start of a next a bear move to the downside. Gotta wait for breaks of these areas to tell you which way to go. Don't let your bias influence your decision making. Just let the charts tell you. Here we are bouncing between the 20 and the 50. We'll see if that resolves itself by the end of the week. Fix on a daily was down 0.52%. So an interesting view to the markets here. We did not get confirmation today from the VIX. The markets were flat to down. The VIX was down. That's not typically what you'd want to see. Flat to up is what you would want to see within the VIX. Let's see if that divergence plays itself out in any particular way tomorrow. From a weekly, also holding back above these levels that we were at down here. Ultimately, this is the red area. This is the yellow area. Down in here is the green area. We are out of the green area, back into the yellow area on the VIX, which means there is still some fear hanging around in the markets. And it's very clear to me from the charts why that is happening. There's just a, still a lot of indecision on which direction we're going to end up going. Notice how the VIX is right here. This is like January, guys. Check this out. The VIX is where it was in January. We're basically sideways for the uh, for the last few months. Apple on a 60-minute, also in a pullback. Here it was down today, but this is still a bullish pullback. Below 267.50, that's your shorting opportunity for you intraday traders on Apple. Notice how we're hanging on to this line. That is what uh, the bears uh, want to get below it. The bulls do not want to give this up. That will bring in some uh, selling, uh, and the shorts are going to start to run with that if, if it gets back below this area. So watch this area very closely on Apple. Weekly, holding on to the blue line. Remember we talked about big blue. Notice how it's hugging it all the way up. Any break of that is your entry if you want to take a speculative short on Apple. FAS on the 60-minute, holding its lower support, went nowhere today, guys. There was no trading to be done in FAS or FAZ. Holding this blue line, and as long as it does, in my book, it's still bullish. FAZ on a 60-minute, sideways as well today. Going nowhere. If you want to look at it from a trading perspective and a TA perspective, this is a high base which potentially means more buying pressure to come. Be very cautious. Really, your most conservative entry here is above this 15, what, 60-ish area, somewhere up in here, 1560, whatever that is. Figure it out on your charts, because stock charts doesn't give me an exact number. So right around the 1560-ish area. From a daily standpoint, it is held up at the blue line. So here we go with the mixed signals. I'm getting potentially bullish on the 60-minute, and maybe bearish here on the daily. So cautious, cautious trading. Once again, I can go all the way back to May, and we're st <laughs> we're nowhere. If you're swing trading this, you're probably getting chopped up, chopped up. If you're this is these are meant to be day traded. I can I'm going to continue to tell you to day trade FAS and FAZ because that is the only way to trade these right now. We get breaks up and over this area. Now you might be looking for a hold overnight or even for a week or a day or whatever it might be. 
Uh, breaks below this 1250-ish area is, is maybe a swing trade short, but right now you've got no business swing trading the, these stocks. Stay with the intraday trading. Okay, so the 20 above us, that's our next level to get up and over. That would be right up above, I'd say above 1550. Probably gives you an opportunity to play this thing back as high as 1750. So above 1550 could take us back to 1750, a $2 trade. Not bad. All right, so nothing much to talk about. Nothing really moving today. I uh, ended up pretty much flat, still working on these resistance and support areas. Wait for those to be broken before you take your trades. Otherwise, you're gambling. And that is not professional trading. Learn to recognize that. You'll be just fine. Protect your capital, and I'll be back with you again when, as always, tomorrow night. See you then. Bye.